Hi, I'm Brad Simpson with Simpson Limited Collector Firearms, and today I'd like to talk about the Luger snail drum. Now, the most common questions we get about snail drums are, are they easy to use, how do I load them, and which one is right for my gun. So I've got a few examples here, both manufacturers, both types, and I've also got a loader, and uh, let's take a closer look. Now the obvious purpose of the snail drum was to hold 32 rounds. The standard Luger magazine only held eight. So by issuing this with, with the artillery, which had a stock, you had a longer range pistol with a greater magazine capacity also. So when you wind this around and lock it right here, as you can see, the number 32 is here. So when you have 32 bullets in it and you release this from this lock, it will set at 32. As it winds down, you can see 27, 22, 17, and 12, which are indicators as to how much ammo you have left. One of the first things you'll notice on snail drums is on the actual magazine part, there's often a dust cover which was there to keep dirt out of the internal mechanism. Oftentimes there won't be one, but oftentimes there will. You'll also see this adapter, which was actually made after World War I for the MP18 machine gun which has a larger magazine well and the gun was nine millimeter so if you put this ad adapter on it would fit and then you'd have a 32 round machine gun magazine there were two manufacturers of snail drums that you see there's there's another one that's never been encountered that they claim made them but we've never seen one but the two common are bing which you can see there's a BM logo. The other manufacturer is AEG, which has the three circles inside this hexagon. That's their logo. There are two types of snail drum magazines. The type one has a winding lever that telescopes. As you can see, it telescopes out so that you can wind this. The second type has a sheet metal winder that swings out. Obviously, it was cheaper to manufacture and it gives you greater leverage. As you can see, it was a better design, much easier to work. One of the questions people ask is, how easy are these to load? And they're really not very easy, which is why there's a loading tool. But really, the hardest part in order to get 32 rounds in it, you have to use most of the tension of the spring and wind it up so that this locks into there and then load it up and then release that and let it back down on, on the uh, bullets that are in it. Um, obviously, it takes a lot of tension, and it, it's, it's a good way to snap your fingers, and uh, I'm not gonna, going to attempt it. But once you have this wound around and locked in there, then it's not too difficult to load. Once you have the loader attached, then you can see this will drop the follower, and you put a bullet in, and for each bullet afterwards you can push it down so there's a lot of tension for 32 rounds and they're not very easy to load i really don't recommend trying to use them i know there's youtube videos of guys using them so some people do it but you're talking about a hundred year old plus item with old springs and old parts that's they're fairly fragile and you can break them so as you can see, there's two types of drums that you encounter, and there's two uh, manufacturers 
that you tend to encounter. And people often ask, what is right for my artillery? Now, if you look at, at the uh, numbers that you encounter, both in the drums and in the artilleries, I would say, in my opinion, if you have a 14, 15, 16 artillery, that a first type drum would be correct for it. And if you have a 17 or 18 dated artillery, I would say that the type two would be correct for it. Now there's no cutoff and there's no record of exactly um, when they started making which one and you know which one directly correlates. So that's my best guess. If you have more questions about uh, Luger drums, I recommend this book um, by Edward Sayer. It um, has all kinds of information on drums and the markings and, and uh, etc. If you have any other questions on uh, drums or Lugers or uh, an idea for another video, send me an email at brad at simpsonltd.com. Thank you.